In this video series, uh, we're going to be learning about Dockers, what they are, how to install them, starting from the basic applications. Um, uh, we're going to be creating the Docker applications, then we're going to be creating, updating the Docker applications, then we're going to be setting up the volumes, like the databases, multiple container applications, and how to communicate between different Docker images uh, running on the same system and then a little bit uh, about the orchestration uh, of the Docker images. So what the Docker is, is like you can think of it as a lightweight uh, virtual machine. So the only difference a Docker has uh, compared to the virtual machine is it's a lightweight uh, instead of a hypervisor which you will find in the, uh, the VMs. Uh, this one actually has a Docker engine and the hypervisor to every single virtual machine it creates, it gives, gives a guest operating system and then the libraries and the application. Whereas the Docker engine actually does not give you a guest OS to every single machine or every single container. Uh, it actually just has the, the file system and the application running on it. So we're going to start with the... Uh, we're going to start with the installation. Here's the name of the website. It's the docs.docker.com slash desktop slash install slash Linux dash install. If you are installing on the Linux, you will go there and you will be able to download a file uh, which would be uh, something like this one. Uh, docker dash desktop dash 4.14.1 and with the extension DEB. What this is is known as a uh, docker desktop. I would highly recommend this. Uh, like recently, they actually uh, made it available for the Linux machines. Earlier, it was only available for the uh, for the uh, Windows and Mac. So what this, the advantage of inst instead of just doing sudo apt uh, get install uh, something like docker, instead of doing that, uh, the, the reason I recommend it is like, first of all, you will be able, you will be getting a, a software, which is a GUI, where you can see all the containers installed on your machine, all the images installed on your machine, all the volumes installed on your machine in a GUI fashion. Also, you will be getting a, uh, the Compose. Docker Compose is another thing uh, which helps us orchestration or basically running up multiple uh, Docker applications at the same time and not just creating them but destroying them. So we'll be learning about the Compose too. So when you install this uh, 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 Docker desktop, uh, you will also be getting that Compose. Uh, so that's a good thing. In order to install it, I just use the command uh, dpkg-i. Uh, I is a flag for install. And then uh, Docker, this one, and you need to be a sudo for that. So once you do that, uh, you will be able to install it. Basically, that's it for the installation. If it asks for you that if something is missing, you gotta be installing that package. Um, yeah, you gotta be installing that package, and yeah, because there are some prerequisites for it, and the uh, KEMU is one of the errors. Uh, which you normally get. So basically you will be installing the anything related to that. And yeah, once you have that, uh, you can actually, uh, you can actually go to in Linux, you will can go to the applications and look for the 
uh, Docker desktop, right? Okay, so in order to install the Docker um, terminal from like Docker desktop from terminal, if you really want to do that, uh, you can use the command uh, system uh, control user star docker desktop and once you do that it does take few seconds to uh, to start that uh, but because of the screen capturing software you won't be able to see that uh, that's all I wanted to cover in this video. Uh, thanks for watching.